powerful systems, complex systems that we are still learning. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will favor us, meaning Ahlul Bayt alayhi wa uh, uh, in such a way that it will be such a favor like the she camel over her child. Now, I personally have not seen the she camel, but in the in the time of the Arab, when they were and they still do it, but when the, when they have a she camel, there's a lot of complexities about the she camel and how the she camel specifically cares for her young more than any of us or our mothers could ever do. The she camel has special traits, so Ali Mamali chose this to say that we're going to get that favor. Actually, that favor will be better than the favor that was given to Musa alayhi salatu salam. And that favor will be to see the real system of justice that we're all waiting for, that we're all praying for. Therefore, when we look at what goes on, don't be so quick to think that maybe something really good is going to happen. And I'm not saying that we don't be optimistic. But remember, there's only two, two sunnah. Even if the sunnah of, uh, of Musa alayhi in this sense, or the Sunnah of Fir'aun. And therefore, we know the only one who will receive and show uh, the manifestation that Allah is planning it is number one, the Ahl Bayt alayhi salam, and number two, his, their true followers. And that is why it's so important that we as followers of Ahl Bayt alayhi salam, give the message to other people about the truth of Islam and also about uh, the reality of life, about the expectation and the waiting of the of our, our Mawla and our Imam, Al Hujjat ibn Hassan al Askari. <laughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and Yahdiyana Surat al Mustaqim, we have filled another Rubana, Wahtayana, a staff for Allah, he will come with Salam or Alaikum Rahmatullahi, or Barakat. Allah <laughs> أرسله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله ولو كره المشركون وجعله رحمة للعالمين بشيرا ونذيرا وداعا إلى الله بإذنه وسراجا منيرا من يطع الله ورسوله فقد رشد ومن يعصهما فقد غوى اللهم صل على علي الأمير المؤمنين ووصي رسول رب العالمين وعلى فاطمة الزهراء سيدة نساء العالمين وعلى الإمامين الحسن والحسين سيد شباب أهل الجنة وعلى علي بن الحسين زين العابدين وعلى محمد بن علي الباقر وجعفر بن محمد الصادق وموسى بن جعفر القاضي وعلي بن موسى الرضا ومحمد بن علي التقي وعلي بن محمد النقي والحسن بن علي الزكي العسكري اللهم صل وسلم وزد وبارك على مولانا صاحب العصر الزمان الأمان من فتن الزمان عجل الله تعالى فرجه وسهل الله تعالى مخرجه وظهوره وجعلنا له من أوعانه وأنصاره والمستشهدين بين يديه عباد الله أوصي نفسي أولا بتقوى الله وأوصيكم بذلك All praise is due to Allah We praise Him and we seek His aid and we seek His forgiveness and we seek His guidance and we believe in Him and we rely upon Him and we seek refuge in Allah from the evil that is in ourselves and the sins of our actions Whomever Allah guides then no one can uh, misguide him or her and whoever is led astray then no one can guide him or her. And I bear witness that there's no God but Allah, one without a partner, and I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi oh, is a slave and messenger. Muhammad. He, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, sent him with the guidance and the system of truth so that it may overpower all systems, even though the polytheists hate it. And he, Allah, sent him as a mercy unto the world and a bringer of glad tidings and a warner and a caller to Allah by his permission and an illuminating lamp. He who obeys Allah and His Messenger, He is guided, and he who disobeys these two, 
he is seduced by the devil. <coughs> All lusts and blessings upon the Imams and the Muslims. Brothers and sisters, again, I, see, uh, I advise myself to have top of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I advise you to do the same. The time is short, so I'm, I have about five minutes before uh, for the Salat, so I'm moving kind of quickly. I apologize for that. Uh, just uh, briefly, I want to go over a few things. Um, I had talked about this uh, last week, um, and since I'm in the gathering of Mu'mini here, I want to bring it up again because Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, um, you know, uh, the leader of the Islam Revolution, he mentioned about this, and it's a good thing because uh, the best thing about, uh, the best thing about, uh, how would you say, um, uh, uh, mu'mineen who need ha help or who need a feeling of support, it's very good when ulama recognize them and recognize their struggle. Very important. Okay, so um, a few weeks ago, if not last week, uh, he mentioned about uh, Pakistan, and he mentioned about the historical reality of Pakistan, that uh, uh, if you look at Pakistan, you find that the believers there are very committed to faith. Okay. Yes, there are um, uh, you know, those who may not be practicing Muslims or those who may be you know, doing whatever they're doing in Pakistan in, in particular. But if you go to you know, other places, and I hope in the future that I may be able to visit some of these places as well as in India, um, to visit like Hyderabad and Lucknow and things like that. Uh, but in Pakistan, um, in these places, uh, there's a historical reality for Pakistanis that go before Pakistan existed um, where you had Sindh and Hind and things of that nature and one of the things about uh, the, this community is that they had that history uh, especially many followers of Ahlul Bayt have been there for a long time and there's a, a connection to the Ahlul Bayt one of those connections is really seen when we have the Muharram gatherings people can recognize and see uh, that uh, there's a deep love for Ahlul Bayt and support in the hearts of the Mu'mini for the, for the Ahlul Bayt Ali Musa. No, no one can question that. Uh, but one of the things he mentioned is that uh, people of Pakistan have to unite themselves. And I don't need to tell you obviously about Pakistan, but we know that the Pakistan has been divided for a while. Part of that is because of the British, other parts is because of the culture. But the main thing is that if a unified Pakistan may bring about a system that will be beneficial to all the people. Whereas as long as they stay divided, Pakistan will continue to be in the situation it's in with corrupt rulers who continue to utilize the people in the way they want. And I mean, I've, I've been following Pakistan for over a decade, so it's kind of something that I see when, the, when, when they have different corruption issues. But the, we as a mu'mini have to unite ourselves. So in Pakistan, you know, the, the Shia of Ali, and we know there's a lot of difficulties right now, but the Shia Ali have to unite themselves. They have to bring unity more with the Sunni brethren. Okay, we're not talking about the Diabanis and the other um, Wahhabist or Wahhabist leaning groups. But there are many Muslims they need to come together more and be show self, uh, unity, not just amongst the Sunnis, but also Shia with Shia. You know, it's a hypocrisy to have Shias disunited, but then when it comes to Sunni, we have unity. It's not fair. Everyone has to come together. Settle the differences and move on. And it's in the capability, just like it's in the capability of people in America and beyond. So that's one, one thing I want to talk to you about. Also, um, the, the the attacks that happened in Kashmir, and, and this is a land that's of course been under, it's been utilized by the powers to continue a power play uh, on that land. And unfortunately, the people are the ones being persecuted and killed. They're the ones being utilized in this um, pro problematic situation. I believe that if Pakistan became stronger and unified and had a good leadership they can help to change that reality in Kashmir. Okay? And not that the current systems are just playing with it, kicking the ball. That's all they're doing. And this is a, something that has to be looked into. Uh, uh, finally, on the area of like, um, political developments, as you all know, um, in this country, uh, we have a big problem with um, police brutality. We hear the news now. It's been going on for a long time, but now there's a reason why this is being brought about, and we should not be falling into the trap. Okay? The trap, the trap is to look at it now and like, wow, you know, I didn't know this happened, so um, whatever those guys are doing must be good to stop it. But no, it's a lot more involved. And inshallah, with more dialogue, more discussion, more talking about the realities of this country, then us as well as you all can understand better about the reality in America. So we don't jump to conclusions on things. But it's important to know about those things, that they continue to happen, and that uh, it's not just police brutality. It's a prison industrial complex in this country. 
there's other problems in the society that and social ills that must be resolved, but they must be resolved comprehensively, not band-aid resolve the resolutions. Wow. So this is very important. And we're aware of it, and therefore we have to take the right steps, inshallah. inshallah. Um, finally, I just wanted to inform you all about, um, and I know many of you know already, but just to um, inform you about Master of Rasul, Houston. This is in the Fifth Ward area of uh, Houston, just north of downtown. Um, if, you're on Minima, if you're driving on the 59 and you just pass Minimay Park, uh, the, uh, the, the Master is about three minutes away. Three to four minutes away. So um, this masjid is under construction. Inshallah, we hope to have it open by the end of the year. Uh, this masjid is um, um, an, uh, an opportunity for the mu'mineen to be able to let others know about Ahl bayt and to help guide the people in a way that will bring them into uh, a new fold that will resolve their problems, that will help them resolve their problems. And uh, it's important that the mu'mineen, uh, in particular in Houston, Whichever um, center or Hosseinia we attend should support this particular project because it's, 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 part, it's partly outreach and it's partly uh, spiritual development. So with both together, uh, we have a very important uh, opportunity to be, be able to spread the message. Where many people become followers of Ahl Bayt and then they have better understanding about the reality in the world around them. Uh, so therefore, um, at, at, right now we are... Um, uh, we are um, about $75,000 away from finishing, and I have some brochures there, so you can take them with you. Um, you can go to the website, um, you can donate um, um, online. We have a little QR code if those who use the scan on the phone to scan the QR code, they can go directly to the PayPal account that way. Um, but um, we are getting close to finishing the masjid, and we, we ask what many to please support generously. Uh, this masjid is your masjid. This master is uh, for the cause of Ahlul Bayt alayhi wasallam, and we, we definitely hope to see those individuals who uh, may be in uh, you know working downtown to be able to drive very closely to uh, for Jum'ah prayer, inshallah, there, uh, and that um, inshallah together as a as a community uh, we can uh, not only create unity, inshallah, within all the Shia communities of Houston, Texas. This is very important. This has to be our goal for the next five years. We create unity amongst all the Shia in the community, and we start doing projects that everybody benefits, Shalom. not just one particular center. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us for our sins. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, cure the, the sick among us. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon our amwat, those who have passed away. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. إذا جاء نصر الله والفتح ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله أفواجا فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفره إنه كان توابا